One of the many reasons why people came to America in the first place was to escape the aristocracy in Europe. In Europe at the time, if you were born, born rich, you'll have a good life. If you weren't, it'll pretty much suck. Enter America, the land of opportunity where there were no rich or poor. This was a brave new world where anyone could make it. This forms the fundamental basis of the American dream, equal opportunity. The definition is simple. Through honest, hard work, you can become whatever you dream of, regardless of where you come from. Everything was fine and dandy in the beginning. People were really making it in the new world, some a little more than others. They were working hard, so they no doubt deserved it. By the time the American Civil War came about, 70 years prior to Great Gatsby, the Americans had already formed their own little elite. The Caraways didn't fight in the war. They paid others to do it on their behalf, so they could stay home and make money. When Gatsby comes along, the social classes in America were well established already. Where you came from mattered. Daisy came from a rich family. No hard, honest work there. Tom was Kardashian rich. Really no hard, honest work at all. They did not nothing to achieve their social status other than being born. Gatsby became stupidly rich too, not exactly in the honest way, but at least he worked hard for it. Yet somehow, despite appearing just as wealthy as Tom, his money was never really good enough. Money had become elevated to a higher status, and there were degrees to it now. Old money and new money. Old money was elite. It could be, not be achieved through honest hard work. You were either born with it, or you weren't. Does that sound like equal opportunity? The American dream was corrupted. The class you came from largely determined where you would stay. Created using Powtoon.